Hi everyone, I'm Juying Li from the Exertion Games Lab, Monash University, Australia. Today, I will present my work Inside Out, Tools and Understanding of Designing Playful Experiences with Imaging Capsules. Before I start, I would like to ask a question. What parts of your body are usually involved in bodily play? Maybe your hands, your legs, or your waist. What about your interior body? Can you imagine what the play could be if it involves our interior body? In most of the cases, we even can't see our interior body. Thanks to the technology, medical imaging technologies, such as the imaging capsules, can let us see our interior body. The background picture of the slide shows how an imaging capsule looks like. It is similar to a standard capsule, while contains a small video camera, LED light, and a video transmitter powered by battery. Once swallowed, the capsule moves naturally along the user's gastrointestinal tract, taking continuous pictures to form a video. Most works around imaging capsules only focus on the functional perspective, such as technical development and medical efficiency. While the experiential perspective is usually overlooked, we are interested in the experiential perspective of the imaging capsule. To explore this, we ask a question. What if we use imaging capsules for play? Our question is based on prior projects in HCI and body arts. Here are two examples. Hitcraft is our own project published last year. It lets the players swallow an ingestible temperature sensor and experience their body temperature change through the thermal feedback on their waist. This project demonstrates that with an ingestible sensor, we might motivate bodily play and increase the player's body knowledge. The associated play might engage players with their personal data and improve the user experience of ingestible sensors. The second example is a body art project created by Stalock. The artist inserted a self-developed ingestible sensor, which contains a beeping device and a flashing light into his body. The aim of the project is to question the role of our body. What if we can see our interior body? What if others can see our interior body? What if our interior body is no longer private, but becomes a public space to exhibit sculptures? Therefore, inspired by this project, we believe that by combining the digital play and imaging capsules, we might provide a novel way for bodily play, we might engage players with their interior body data, we might improve the overall experience of the capsule endoscopy procedure, and might increase their bodily knowledge and understanding. To further explore this, we present Inside Out. Here, I first play a video to introduce Inside Out. Imaging capsules are medical devices that allow us to see our interior body. However, patients often experience anxiety when swallowing medical devices. To address this, we utilized game design thinking and posed the question, what if we combine imaging capsules with digital play? We present Inside Out. Players swallow an imaging capsule and the video is displayed outside their body to be shared and interacted with. Inside Out features three types of games that let players explore how their interior body responds to bodily actions, such as eating, drinking, or being physically active. Other types of games let players experience the relationship between their environment and the interior body in an artistic way or let players perform bodily movements to engage with their interior body. By taking the imaging pill, I actively got to explore my internal organs. I think it's that sort of body awareness it goes a long way to helping you with body health when you can see it in that way, and it's, it's amazing. With Inside Out, we highlight the potential of using imaging capsules to facilitate intriguing bodily play experiences. Such experiences might deepen our understanding of the human body and ultimately contribute towards a more playful and humanized healthcare agenda. To understand the design of Inside Out, we conducted a user study with seven participants. The study was in the wild for eight hours because the battery of an imaging capsule usually lasts for eight hours. We conducted semi-structured interviews after the study 
and use thematic analysis to understand the interview data. Finally, we we'll reach the four themes and three design implications. Because of the time limitation, here I will only introduce two design themes. The first theme is experiencing the enchanted body as subversive play. Players experience the play as subversive since seeing, showing, and interacting with the interior body video breaks the social norms to some extent. The players also describe the interior body as enchanted. Although they felt the video was initially confronting, they still thought the whole video was fascinating, novel, intriguing, and playful because it shows their mysterious interior body. They also felt the changing video was unexpected and playful. The reason is that as the capture moved forward, the video showed the different parts of their gastrointestinal tract. While these different parts might look different, so here is the example. The left picture shows how our stomach might look like. So the stomach wall is a bit smooth. The right picture shows how the small intestines look, and the small intestines wall is more fluffy. Therefore, we suggest to support the enchanted body experience. Designers could design always available changing video to let players enjoy the entire body voyage. Inside Out supports the enchanted body mainly by three design choices. First, we provide enough power source to let players see the entire eight-hour video. Second, we designed Inside Out to be wearable, and players can easily lower their head to watch the video, which steps towards an always available interaction. Third, we provide immediate feedback so players can see the real-time images filmed by the capsule without a delay. The second theme is experiencing the lived body as exploratory play. With the imaging capsule, players usually explore how they can influence their interior body while eating and moving. And based on their play choices, we can divide the players into two types. We call them dieters and eaters. Dieters tend to not eat anything before and during the play, so they could have a clear view of their gastrointestinal tract. And they might try different movements and gestures to see how they can influence the shape of their gastrointestinal tract. While eaters usually had meals as usual one day before the study and loved to try different food to see how the food was digested. Therefore, dieters might know more about the body structures, while eaters might know more about the digestion. Therefore, we suggest designers guide the players to play with the interior body. If they have certain design aims, for example, if the designer wants to educate players more regarding the anatomical knowledge, designers can guide them to be a dieter, while designers can guide the players to be an eater if they wanted to highlight the human food relationship. To guide the players, designers can engage with the body preparation stage, letting players to eat or diet one day before swallowing the capsule. Designers can also design corresponding input for the system. Designing body movements or eating as the input to guide the player to be a dieter or an eater. In summary, our work introduces Inside Out, a playful wearable system that people play with their interior body, which might deepen their engagement with and understanding of their bodies. By presenting this work, we hope to emphasize that interior body can be a design material for bodily play. Our work might benefit the design of playful systems around body integrated technology and medical imaging technologies. Thank you for watching.